My name is Bill James. Since oil wars began in 1990, a group of West Point grads who studied nuclear engineering together looked at how we could change the lifeblood of America's economy from oil to ingenuity. Unfortunately, vested political interests have delayed innovation in the United States. Haiti can correct that and lead the world to be the first nation of the sun. In 1910, Thomas Edison noted that sunshine and electricity are a lot the same. Haiti is rich in sunshine with a dedicated workforce. What follows is how we can take Haiti's wealth of sunshine and dedicated labor force to build infrastructure the world is hungry for. Life requires energy. Oil energy is finite. Buying imported oil is draining Haiti of its resources. Just as the 10x cost reduction of cell phone technology allowed Haiti to jump ahead, Haiti can lead the world with a 10x cut in transportation cost. JPOD's ultralight rails move people, cargo, and trash in a city using a tenth the energy of cars, passenger trains, or buses. Dirt pods can move construction materials and dramatically lower the cost of recovery in Haiti. Rescue rail systems can be thrown up over broken heavy infrastructure after earthquakes and hurricanes. Solar collectors mounted over the top of the rails gather the energy to power the networks. Simulation software lets us set up networks and try different kinds of combinations to find the right mix to relieve congestion in a city. These networks create time maps. So from the airport to Carrefour's would be about an 18 minute trip. Everything in green can be reached in 10 minutes, yellow in 20, and red in 30. Here's another example with the blue crosshair most of the way to Carrefour. Solar collectors mounted over the rails gather about 5 megawatt hours of energy per kilometer per day. So about 230 megawatt hours per day for the network in Port-au-Prince. Manufacturing can be established in Caracol for both the energy systems and the transportation infrastructures. Transportation has always been the catalyst for changing energy systems. So Haiti leading in the deployment of solar powered transportation networks will also change energy systems in the world. Germany has created 214,000 jobs in the solar industry since the year 2000. Haiti, leveraging JPOD's transportation networks, should be able to create far more jobs. The action necessary to get started is to grant rights of way based upon performance standards. Haiti, by leading with the deployment of JPOD's solar powered transportation networks, can lead the world in the technical change from oil to ingenuity. Haiti can be the first nation of the sun.